Patients seeking care at an Ensenada hospital have lost limbs in many different circumstances, mostly through traumatic accidents or diabetes. And now they're getting artificial limbs that are made by a 3D printer from a startup company called Limber P&O. This is the Limber Unileg. It is a single piece prosthesis that is 3D printed in just half of a day. So you press start at the night, and you pull it off looking just like this in the morning, ready to go onto an amputee, allowing them to get back out into the world. Joshua Pels is a PhD student of engineering at UC San Diego and a co-founder of Limber P&O. The company's artificial limbs are printed at a lab on the UCSD campus. He says their process begins with a scan of the lower body using an iPhone with Face ID. We scan the patient from waist down we take that scan data, we bring it in as a three-dimensional 3D model into the computer, and we basically build the whole prosthetic device around that scan data. Another co-founder of Limber p is Herb Barrick, a prosthetist who's been creating artificial limbs for decades. Many years ago, he carved them out of balsa wood by hand. He says 3D printers bring a huge advantage to the creation of prosthetics. It's, it's precision. The 3D printer the digital process allows us to be very exact. Uh, the digital scanner allows us to duplicate alignment. One amputee who has used an artificial leg from the Limber company is Diana Zambrano, who lost her lower right leg in a traffic accident. She says using a new prosthetic limb is kind of like putting on new shoes. They don't always feel or fit right. In this case, the Limber leg, um, I don't know if it's the technology, or what it is, but the minute I wore it, I was able to walk very comfortably and wear it, you know, for extended periods of time. So far, the company is focused on creating artificial lower legs below the knee, but Pell says printing the knee joint is in the company's future. Limber p and has had financial help from Rotary Clubs in the U.S. and Mexico, who have funded the provision of artificial legs for patients in Ensenada. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News. Thanks for watching. I'm Thomas Fudge with KPBS News. I cover science and technology. And if you want to see more, go ahead and like this video and hit the subscribe button.